chasing the police every single day. Hello. Bad. Bad. Yes. I have a piece of crap gun. <laughs> All right. All right. Is there, is there if I ask a question too? Uh, just so if I did sell it to you, it does go into a database then for the sheriff or the pawnbroker or? It goes in, it, it goes in the county website. Right. Um, and that's just so they can run the search to make sure it's not a stolen firearm. Right. That's how they do it, and then we have to hold on to it for 15 days before we can put it out for sale. Right. And that's only if you're just selling it outright and not trading right. it in for something else. So they have their own website, or? Yes. Well, the, the county has their own website. I don't know what website it is. You'd have to right. talk to Ann about all the details. I just know a little bit. Right. I don't know a lot. I don't know everything. Right. Do you know, do, so they get my name too, or just the gun and the serial they get number? Your name, they get your thumbprint. No kidding, so they get it all. Mm hmm. Hmm. Why it's do, just like when you do a background check for a gun, except that right. instead they right. you, you take down your information on a one sheet of paper. Right. Right. Did. And I do not see what we have one down here. So basically, you fill out the top of your name, address, right. phone number, um, everything that's on your driver's license and the thumbprint. And then do you scan it or you put it in the computer? I don't know what she does. I right. Don't know if she scans it in or just puts it in the computer. Right. Or if she mails it to them, I have right. no idea. All I know is those have to be filled out. Right. Why, why did you guys ever hear of uh, Statute 790-335? I do not know what statute that is. Uh, they, they made a statute that, uh, and I don't, I'm just to get an opinion, like I said, I, you know, I, I'm alternative press. Um, the statute states that the, the, the police and the sheriff aren't supposed to get our name, a list of people that own guns, no. correct? Correct. Okay, uh, they, should, they should get the, uh, you know, the gun and the serial number to find out if it's hot, mm -hmm. and, if, and if they do have that list, did you know what's, a, did you know what's a third degree felony, a uh, five million dollar fine? No, I did not know that. So do you do you think do you think the sheriff should have this list? If these lists, if this is a list of people who have sold their firearm or pawned it or pawned it, then that is their job. Uh, the statute states they're not supposed to get the gun. I mean the name. Right. Okay. Um, then I don't know. So you you probably would agree that's not good for them to get all that. Because you've committed no crime, right? I mean, these are not felons. These are regular people. Right. They may not be felons, but they might be. Um, I, you know, as far as the statute goes, right. if the statute says they shouldn't have their names, then that list is wrong. Correct. So if, if they're guilty, should they be charged and fined? Then maybe they should. Uh, all right. We're working on it. Can, can I give you my card so you guys are, you know who I am? Because Ann does anyways, all right? Yeah. Um, but yes, I, I'm a, I'm a reporter for Shiro County Cop Watch. We do we we know we need cops, just not corrupt ones. Uh, and um, so yeah, we just we busted the Shiro County Sheriff and the Sarasota Sheriff illegally have a list of people. All they did was sell a gun and pawn a gun, mm -hmm. and they're being illegally profiled. They have committed no crime. Right. Okay. So now, when did the statute go, go into effect? 2004. Okay. Okay. Then they are going against the statute. Correct. But the the county also requires that list. That is correct. But they're only... That information. Correct. So they can run the gun and make sure it is not still stolen. Correct. Firearm. Correct. But, again, like I said in the statute, you know, it clearly states okay. twice they're only supposed to get the gun and the serial number. The and they're not then supposed they to get... The going against the statute. Correct. So if, if, if they hold us accountable, do, don't, do you agree we should hold them we accountable? 
going against the statute that's been in place. Since 2004. Well, because you know how they always say to us, you know, what is that saying where you should have known the law or whatever? Right, right. Yeah. Ignorance so, is no excuse for breaking the law. Very. And they should know their law. And not all of them do. Okay, I'm digging you. Very good. Okay, so you agree that if this is this could be a big deal. Right. I don't know about suing. I mean, what good is that going to do? Who does the money go to? Well, to if, the unfortunately, unfortunately, that's the sad part, is that you're right. Taxpayers pay for it. So Eric Friday, the best gun lawyer in Florida, mm -hmm. is dealing with the state attorney, Ashley Moody, mm -hmm. to take that fine money and put it in a fund for all the people's rights that were violated. Right. Do you like that idea? I do. Yes, so that would be fair. Yeah, that would be, he's working on that. And say a prayer, he's working on me getting whistleblower money. Woohoo, that would be good. The wife would dig that. But yeah, we found that story, and, uh, and I, I maybe talked to one of you. I have called here before. I was asking questions about this. You know, what do you do, what do you don't? I think, was it here that you guys told me? I did not know this, that if you buy two handguns in seven days, that you, you have to tell the sheriff too? That's the ATF. No kidding. Somebody said you have to tell the sheriff, too, though, right? I don't know, I don't know about the sheriff, but I know, um, actually, you know what? It may be a copy to the sheriff, a, lock, a copy to your local law enforcement, and a copy to the ATF. Okay, it is. That, that statute has always been in place. Really? My husband and I used to own a gun shop up in Ohio. Wow. And we had to do it, too. Really? Even so, in Ohio? Uh, well, it's a federal law. It's the ATF. It's federal. That is on a federal level. Wow. The federal level states that they have to have a copy. Right. And your local law enforcement have to have a copy, whether it be sheriff or police. Just because you bought two guns in seven two, days? Two handguns. Two handguns. Okay, I know. That's true. I know that part. I do know that part. Why? What do they think is happening? Um, they just want to make sure, they just want to make sure that the person is not buying firearms right. and selling them illegally. Okay. Or selling them to criminals. Okay. They like to keep an eye on those people who do a lot of activity buying and selling firearms. Right. It is their right to be able to do so. Right. And especially because a lot of firearms, unfortunately, end up in the wrong hands. Right. Because we don't know who buys and who sells to the criminals. Right. So, that that is true, but like you know all the countries that ban them, the criminals get them anyways. I mean, oh, right. I mean, look at what just happened with the Muslim shooting. Oh, I know. You're not supposed to have guns, but he had a really nice gun. <laughs> so a lot of people are saying the video is fake. Uh, there is no blood. That is a good point. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. But uh, um, okay. So do you think our laws are better down here compared to Ohio? Trying to you know keep keep the li was Ohio bad? Did they actually have list of gun owners in Ohio? You do really? not have registration in Ohio, just like you do not have registration. So you agree with that? I agree with that. Very, very. You don't have I've, to have registration. Right, I've committed no crime. You shouldn't tell the police I'm buying this gun, I, have to, I want it on my license so I can carry it. That's New York, that's any yeah. communist country. Yeah, that's a different country, New York. Right. Correct. We do not do that here, we didn't do that in Ohio. Right. Um, it is your right to be able to buy, sell, trade firearms, provided that you are not a criminal. Right. Um... Can we write down that 790? If you get bored, you can look at it. If you read that I sucker top, okay. <laughs> if you read it top to bottom, it is awesome. In fact, do you know which state rep wrote that? No. Lindsey Harrington. He lives right in Punta Gorda. Yeah. He's retired. And if you ever get a chance, talk to him. Why he made it so harsh? Um, because uh, what they were, uh, what they found out, 79335. Because he found out what they were doing back then. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Disgusting profiling. They were literally going down the road in neighborhoods and they were literally telling, telling each other, okay, that, we gotta be careful. That guy's got a gun, that guy's got a gun. Who, you don't, not everybody's a criminal if you have a gun. And it's none of their business. It, there, now you're saying good stuff. Very good. So, I've been saying good stuff the whole time. Okay, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> 79335, if you get, Top to bottom, it's not that long. Yeah. You're going to see in there twice near the bottom where it says they're only supposed to get the gun and the serial number. If it turns up hot, then they can come here and go to your paper. And somehow they've been circumventing the system. In fact, in fact, the, the, the emails that we got are from 2013, 2014. That's bad. That means they're keeping a list for a long time. 
say is true, it's going against the statute. And those people's rights are being violated. Correct. Well, this is how bad it is. This is the emails. They're literally talking about profiling. Yeah. It's, it's sad. Look at this list. Women are buying it. It must be for their husbands or boyfriends. It's like, what? Yeah. Hell, I've been selling guns for 20 years. I own my own. But I mean, you can literally see profiling in there. I mean, you're like, look, you know, check this list. There even, even one of them said, look at this list. If you think it's a bad guy you don't like, let's figure out a way we can get a charge on him. <laughs> That's insane, man. You it, know, I mean, it, it's just funny the thought process that people have. Did you know that there's a shitload of ladies pawning these firearms? See? Right. I would bet, by <laughs> looking at the type of firearms, that the real person who had them were felons. Or women are very vindictive, materialistic bitches and selling their husband's guns to get money because they're going to be asking for Ooh, a divorce. Ooh, that is real. You, you burned the gun to business. That's actually real. Totally real all day long. I've been doing this for too long. I know exactly. Okay, what yes, I'm doing. yes. That you're very true. But there is also there are also a lot of women out there who lose their husbands and they're selling off their collection as well. Did you know I've been there are a lot of different reasons why women and there's yes. a lot of women who are into firearms. Abs some of the best shooters are women. When, when Ohio passed their carry law, that is that is when my husband and I um, owned the gun shop. Yeah. We had, after the carry law passed, now you want to talk about your rights being violated. Right. Hello. We had the plain dealer listed everybody's name who went and got a carry conceal license. Oh. My, my name was right underneath my brother's in the paper. Oh. And the plain dealer was a huge paper up there. It used to be like this thick. I don't know how thick it wow. is. Wow. It used to be like this thick. Right. It's Cleveland's major paper. Right. So. Yeah, that's right. Yes, my name was printed to everybody who gets the plain dealer, which is basically Northeast Ohio. Oh my God. Um, I could have called the plain dealer, but there were no laws in place to protect our rights against What year was that? Um, okay. I forget. I absolutely forget what year that was. My husband was around. But it was a while ago. So. Um, so you want to talk about your rights being violated up there. What was your name again? Laura. Wow. You already know. You're, you are awake. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Yep. Uh, Chris said to talk to Amy to see if you can get it fixed. Are you Amy? No. You mean Ann. Um, okay. And she is not going to be here until next Tuesday because she's going on vacation with the family. So you could probably still do what she said then. Can I get it? I got I got a I got a defective Taurus. Okay. This has been worked on twice. Okay. Uh, one by one time by higher power. Uh, the other time, I forget who. Uh, it's the most unreliable gun I ever had. I got it because my wife's a tiny little Filipino, so that's why I, you know tip up and she doesn't got a racket. Got a camera on there. Yeah. Is that all right? I'm doing I'm doing a story. Um. Uh, actually, I don't. I don't prefer it. Right. Um, it there. It is a. There is a case law, Adam versus State, that uh, if you know I'm in a public place, I'm not in a bathroom. Right. right. All right. Right. And I. Okay. I don't. I don't prefer to be on camera though. Okay. okay. Um. So, anyways, uh, so you guys, she said that if it's been worked on twice, that you guys can just send it back to Taurus well, and ask for a new is, gun? The now, at this point, you've had two other people than Taurus work on it. They may not cover the warranty if two other people that worked on it screwed it up. Taurus I has I, a lifetime warranty on it. Right. I, I, think, I think Chris already talked to her. Right. Uh, and, uh, you know, told her the situation. You know, they didn't work on it. I believe they did what Taurus said. Mm-hmm. And it just, it's still unreliable. Last time we were out, it was the most embarrassing gun there when we were out with everybody. Right. I mean, it didn't fire half the time, mm -hmm. okay. which, is, which is sad. And I can, I can take it in. I'll, I'll get all of your information. I'll write out a receipt that we received it today. Right. Um, do you have the box? Or did you, no. No? Okay. No. Um, 
I can do all that for you, but the, nothing's going to be done until she gets back from vacation. Yeah, that's fine. I don't, I don't care. I, I have other guns right. because that's that's worthless. But I'm just, I'm letting you know, Taurus does have a lifetime warranty on their guns. They right. can and will void their warranty at any point in time. They right. feel they so choose. When you take one of your guns to someone else to work on, the manufacturer has the right well, to Well, I, I didn't warranty. have them work on it. I had them right. do the okay. Taurus warranty. Right. okay. Oh, you had them send it in. Yes, gotcha. yes, okay. yes. Yeah. So, no, no. Chris, Chris, Chris hasn't tweaked this thing yet. If Taurus doesn't take care of it, then, yes, right. Chris will tweak it, him and his dad, and make it work. But, uh, but yes, okay. we're trying to do the Taurus thing first. So, so you you know who Chris is that I'm talking about? He um, loves guns. Big guy, biker. I really don't. Right. No, I come in here, I work, and I go home. Got <laughs> it. Very good. There you go. I know a lot of the customers that come in here. I don't know any of the other gun shop owners. Correct. Anybody who works in those gun shops. Correct. Yep, that's simpler. And I don't know if there's going to be any charge. Um, I'm going to let Ann take care of all of that. Yeah, yeah, she's already he's already talked to her, okay. told her the situation, and I mean it's an embarrassment. Man. It's like, right. wow, you would die if you had this thing. You could hurt people more with hitting them with it. That's kind of sad, right? Unfortunately. Have you heard bad stuff about this piece of crap? Well, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's, um, this that's, is, <laughs> that's not good, man. This is, this is basically a model off of the Beretta gun. Correct. Because Taurus bought their factory in right. Brazil, they have their per Beretta's permission to right. use those. Correct. Um, here we go. So. I'm kidding. So okay. that's the real one. That's the real one. Oh. Thank you. You should know better. I'm old. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Interesting. So yes, I can already see differences already. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't got to be exactly the same, right. but yeah, man, it's unreliable. Really bad. Yeah, I mean, and you know, the newer ones should be a little, they're better quality. Right. Um, so this could be one of the old ones then, and that's why it sucks? This looks, this, actually, this looks like it's a little bit newer because of the... I think I've had it for three or four years. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a little newer. Right. So... Um, they should be a little better quality, but it's a polymer frame. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, you're going to have your idiosyncrasies between each particular gun. Right. In the same model. You know, I, hmm. have, I have a Beretta 92 at home. I right. love that thing. I've never had a problem with it. No flaws ever. And then I have people that come in that have had nothing but problems with a brand new 92. Wow. So, and that's what Higher Power was trying to say, that one of the ladies over there carries it and swears by it. Right. And yet, this is the worst one I've ever had. Yeah. So, you never know. I mean, some of them have problems, some of them don't. Hmm. Need a phone number, please? A Okay, so like I said, I'm not sure how much a repair is going to be. Right. It technically, theoretically, Taurus should pay for it. Correct. Um, but I think you have to pay shipping there. I don't know. 
Hmm. And it's going to have to tell you it, right. whether you have to or not. Right. I have no idea. I'm just taking the gun in. Right. If there's going to be any charge, right. I'll let her tell you. Okay. Okay, so if for some reason there is, I can give up and then just maybe even sell it to her then? You could, um, but with a, a gun that with it has known problems, I'm not sure if she's going to want to take it in because she'll have to send it in to Taurus to repair also. Right. Talk to her. Got I it. I don't know. Right. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. You have, you have a carry as well? Yes. Can I get a copy of that one too, please, if you don't mind? I just want to make sure we have all of our bases covered. Right. Oops. So if it's just getting oh. fixed, you got to have that? or? Um, well, I prefer to have a copy of both. Um, just as a precaution. For? Um, for, for the gun store. Not for me, for the gun store. For, the rec for records for ATF in case they're audited. Okay. It's actually, it's a normal thing. Why, so if you're going to fix it, this goes into a, a well, computer database um, somewhere? No, I mean, we're not, we're not, we don't keep records in a computer database anywhere, but right. I just like to make sure that I have all the IDs that you need to have with your firearm. That's all. So it's... But when it's for repair, it doesn't go into. If I sell it to you, then it goes into a, into a database. It will go into the county database to make sure it's not stolen when, it, when it's sold. Correct. There you go. Why? What date? What? So that's what? Like Pawn Finder on your computer? Or? I don't know what it is. Right. I don't deal with that and does. Right. She is, um, I was going to say, do I get a paper? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have you sign the bottom of that. Right. I was getting ready to tear apart, and I'm like, yeah, I want a signature. Um, Correct. So I'm going to write on here that I don't know if there's a charge. Uh, uh, also mentioned, too, that Chris has talked to her about me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, she already um, knows about the gun. Right. Um, so what is wrong with it? So I can write that down, too. Uh, doesn't fire all the time. Power. Uh, I actually, they, they're one of the people that did the, uh, the warranty on it before, correct? Yes. Okay. And I forget who the first one did that tried to do the warranty. Right. Now, she's probably going to call Taurus, and I wouldn't worry about this one too much. She's right. probably going to call Taurus, and they'll say, you know, she may be able to tell them, right. send me a label, and they'll send her a label. They right. may not. I don't know how they're going to take care of it. So Yeah, so that's what it sounded so like know. when he Chris talked to her, right. is that this is, we've it's already done the warranty right. thing multiple right. times. It still sucks. Just give me a new one. Right. Correct. So if um, you don't have no idea on shipping cost, I do not. I do not. Hmm. I don't handle any of that. Right. I just work here. Right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I All right. Is there? Here. Is there any? If I ask a question too, uh, just so if I did sell it to you, it does go into a database then for the sheriff or the pawnbroker or. It goes in. It, it goes into the county website. Right. Um, and that's just so they. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube, and uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.